So in this video, we're going to talk about the heat of formation, okay? And first of all, if we need to calculate this, we need to know what it is, okay? So the heat of formation is the heat required to produce one mole of a substance from its element in their standard states, okay? Now, there's something very important that we should know. The heat of formation of any element is zero. So any element in its natural form will be zero. Now, the general form is given by this where Delta H of the reaction is H final minus initial. So it's the initial of the final, the products minus the uh, minus the reactants essentially. And this N here stands for the number of moles in the chemical reaction. So it's the number of moles times the, the summation of the products minus the number of moles times the summation of the reactants. Now the heats of formation are always given, okay? So if I take a look at this, well, the heat of formation, of, um, they're all given in this equation. Okay, they're all given this equation. So how would we calculate the delta H for this reaction? Okay, how would we calculate the delta H for the reaction? Well, in this case, we know the delta H of the reaction is equal to the summation of the number of moles times the products. Okay, so we're going to look at the products first. And so if I take a look at this, this shall be in parentheses. And this is just math. So this is going to be four times the heat of formation of NO. So this is four times 91.3 kilojoules, okay? I'm gonna simply add this to the next product, which is six times its heat of formation, which is negative 241.8 kilojoules, okay? And those took care for products, so it's the summation of the products minus the reactants, okay? So if I take a look at this, my reactants will for ammonia, it's the number of moles. This is four times the heat of formation of ammonia, which is negative 45.9 kilojoules. Okay, and I'm gonna simply add that to um, oxygen gas. So this becomes five, well remember, O2, gas. Okay, it's in its elemental form. Oxygen gas, it's in its elemental form. And so its heat of formation is actually zero. Okay, and this is just all we plug into our calculator. Now, the idea is that we, we got to be very careful with how we plug this in. Okay, and so what I usually do is do them step by step. Okay, and so in this case, if I put, plug this all into my calculator, 4 times 91.3 plus, well, this is going to become this negative. Okay, so if I plug this all into my calculator, I will get approximately 902.0 kilojoules. Okay, and this constitutes an exothermic reaction. Okay, and so this is the delta H of the reaction. Okay, and so this is delta H of the reaction. So again, all we're doing is just plugging in, plug and chug. The idea is that we got to get the concept straight. Okay, so that's how we calculate delta H of the reaction with the heat of formation. Now, I want to touch on one more thing here. And how would we calculate, the, not the overall delta H, but how would we calculate heat of formation of one reactor or product in, in, the, in the equation? Well, we're given this one here. Okay, and we're actually given the delta H of the overall reaction, and we're asked to calculate the heat of formation of 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 chlorometh of, of 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 methyl chloride. Okay, and so how do we, how do we calculate the the heat of formation for this specific um, re um product here? Well, we know the gist. We know that the delta H of the reaction, so let me write this out here. So we know that the delta H of the reaction is equal to the sum of the number of moles times the heat of formation of the products. Okay. And we're going to simply subtract that from the summation of N times the heat of formation of the reactants. And this sum sign here says that it's the summation, it's, it's everything, okay? So how do we calculate just methane, uh, of, of methyl chloride? Well, the heat of formation happens to be, it's given, so it's negative 53, negative, negative 59 point, uh, negative 59 point zero, or negative 59 kilojoules. So we know the heat, overall heat of formation. Now we got to look at the products, okay? So if we look at the products, well, we actually don't know the heat of formation of methyl chloride. And so 
let's say let's put an x here okay let's say this is x because we actually don't know the heat the formation of methyl chloride so we're going to say that's x now remember it's one x because um the number of moles here is just one so this is one x so i'm just going to put x i'm going to simply add that to the products okay so the next product is hydrochloric acid gas we have one mole so we don't have to worry about any number we have one mole so we're going to add that to plus well what's the heat of formation for it happens to be negative 92.30 kilojoules okay and that constitutes our or products okay you're going to subtract that from the reactants so everything is in one to one notice that all my moles are one to one so I don't have to worry about any numbers n being multiplied. And so if I take a look at methane, that's just one times the heat of formation, which happens to be negative 74.8. And we look, we have chlorine gas here, which is another reactant. Well, that's in its elemental form. And so the heat of formation of that is actually zero. Okay. And so if I take out my calculator here, okay, I get negative... 259 kilojoules that is equal to x minus 92.30 kilojoules well notice that my negative sign has to be distributed so this is going to be eventually added so this will be plus 74.8 kilojoules okay and simply now what i'm doing is just solving it for x so if i add these two together if i add these two together i should get x minus Add these two together, I should get x minus 17.5 17 kilojoules. So actually, yeah, so I get, should get x minus, so if I take negative 92.30 plus 74.8, yeah, I should get negative 17.5. Can that is equal to negative 59 kilojoules? Can simply if I add 17.5 on both sides. Then I get X to be equal to approximately what? Negative 241.5 kilojoules. And again, now we could just replace X with the heat of formation of CH3Cl, which happens to be negative 241.5 kilojoules. So this is how we will solve for anything involving um, the actual reactants or products themselves. Again, you didn't have to use X. You could have just used the, the change in heat of formation to replace X, but I, I, I just think the calculation is just simpler and then replace that at the end.